What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. And a very grand and mighty welcome to all the fellow decoders out there around the world, wherever you are. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. And today we're going to be breaking down and decoding the Wizard of Oz. And as you heard in the beginning, a cover rendition of The Wizard by Black Sabbath. What do they have to do with The Wizard of Oz? Well, they had a song called The Wizard, which was right here. came out in 1970, and it was a B-side. It wasn't even the main star song. It was the B-side to the song Paranoid, but this song, you know, The Wizard... And it was a cover song by this band right here called The Red Wizard. So big shout out to these guys. Um, But what does it have to do? And why did I include that with this classic movie from 1939, The Wizard of Oz? So the majority of you, if not all of you, have seen this movie. I'm going to break it down like you've never seen it broken down before, but it's going to have a lot of twists and turns. It's probably not what you think it's going to be um, because who is the wizard? That's the, really the main thing. Like, I know we have all these characters, the Scarecrow and Dorothy and the Tin Man, and you know, but it's the wizard. What is the wizard? And is there really a wizard running this reality? Well, let's find out. And obviously, the big takeaway was the element right here called osmium. And is this a coincidence that Oz can be spelled osmium or is pronounced osmium with an S? And what does this element have to do with this deco? Folks, this is the gem. This is the this is kind of like the needle in the haystack right here, but it's now in your face. So let's get into this presentation. I promise you this one is, this this information I'm about to show you is some of the most important information I have ever shown in all of my 250 videos in County. So if you're willing to stick with this throughout the entire presentation, I promise you, you will find some gold nuggets for your own personal life and decoding efforts. So let's get into the topics. Here we go. In the intro, in the zero, I always want to include the zero, the intro, which is what I'm doing now. I've kind of included that. I always want to include that intro. Number one, where it all started. Folks, this one's going to blow your freaking mind. Kansas. Number two, God, the mathematician. Number three, operating system because that's what it's all about. Number four, home. 
There's no place like home. Number five, of course, Osmium. Oh, man, this one's just huge. Number six, Let's Be Frank. Number seven, 383. Number eight, 76. And number nine, I always like to hear what you saw during your observation of this presentation. So keep your comment, leave your comments in the section below. Um, keep them coming. You know, I miss a lot of things and this is, I'm telling you folks, what I'm about to show you now, it completely rocked my world and it just made me laugh and have fun. And again, this, this is for entertainment because how can we take this stuff so serious when we can see how the script is just playing out in front of our faces. So let's get into the very first topic. Kansas, which is where this story originated from. The Wizard of Oz, it was Dorothy from Kansas. Why did they choose Kansas? Well, you're about to find out. I'm going to show you some things that just are mind-bending. <laughs> mind-bending. So... One of the reasons why Kansas was chosen is if you look at a map of the United States, there's that little red icon showing the very location of the geographical center of the United States. It's in the state of Kansas. So it's, it's the dead center of the United States. And what's interesting is the location of that geographical center of the United States is right off of Route 191. And of course, you know, what is the atomic, one of the, what is the most abundant anyway, because osmium has several, uh, weight of osmium measured in a laboratory? Yeah, 191. So you do think there's a connection? Do you think I'm trying to fudge things? Are you, do you think I'm trying to mock you? by showing you this stuff? Or do you think they were mocking you? No, folks, there's just the code expressing themselves. Sure, people can get, become conscious of it, but here's the very first rendition, the ridiculousness of this code, the dead center of the bullseye. And you know, why is it the bullseye? Because see, if you take the chakras, if you're a fan of the chakras, I hope you are, if you take the chakras and you lay them over the United States and you can do it going latitudinally, which is what I have here, or you can take that, the chakras and lay it on a 90 degree and you'll have the crown would be around the California area. That's right. California, that state is the crown chakra. And of course the root would be in Hell's Kitchen, AKA New York City. And so we have in the very dead center, it would be Kansas, the heart of America. And you know, why was it called the Emerald City? Because it's the bullseye and it is the heart chakra. So there's kind of the giveaway. The bullseye is the number 28. And there's a very good reason why, you know, I'm showing all of you this because the city that the geographical center of the United States, the location is in the city of Lebanon. And the zip code of Lebanon is 66952. Both of them in numerology come out to the number 28 which of course is tied to lucifer because lucifer is 28 and the bullseye is 28 so here we go folks the bullseye of the united states of america is a, in tribute to the heart chakra of the united states the anahata the green emerald city chakra which is Primarily one of the reasons why Kansas was shown and Dorothy was there and the story originated in Kansas Because of this situation going this ridiculous Just comical code and it's off route 191 and osmium has an abundant weight of 191.961. I mean, are you kidding me? You see how the Wizard of Oz is tied to the periodic table Make no mistake about it. And there's the bullseye. So I went on to get some further confirmations of what I'm showing you. Here is the blown up picture of the actual map, the overhead map of the geographical center of the United States. There it is in the dead center. And I have the bullseye and Lebanon matching the 28. And there's a reason why I have the bullhead here. 
because what was interesting is when you look at this road, the way it was designed, who designed this? I don't know. But what I found very interesting is if you take that bullhead and you flip it 90 degrees on its side <laughs> and then you move it right over the top of where that geographical center of the United States is, the bullseye of the United States of America, it's the bullhead, the bull god. And that's where you get the buy bull from. So you Christians, rejoice because here's a connection for you tied to the wizard of Oz and the Bible, the Holy Bible is tied to Taurus because the Bible is the Taurian Bible. There's two book, two testaments, the old and the new, and it's tied to Taurus the bull because Taurus the bull is the second zodiac sign. So of course it's going to run the Bible and it's tied to the Taurus fields. Thank you, Santo Spinacci and company, Ken Wheeler and all those great guys. But there it is. And, and I mean, how else are we to describe this? I keep saying that. What do you see? But this is ridiculous right here. I mean, turn that bull's head and you move it right there and whammo. I mean, I don't think that is trying to stretch anything. And it's off Route 191 and Osmium has an atomic weight of 191. Come on, folks. Common sense. Logic. <laughs> so here we go. Starting with a bang with this whole presentation. So what about the coordinates of the geographical center of the United States located in Lebanon, Kansas. Well, there it is, 39 degrees north, 98 degrees east. And, you know, remember, the Wizard of Oz came out in 1939. And, you know, there it is. So, you know, and, you know, folks, you got to start using common sense and logic. Like, you know, Victor Fleming and all these people, the screenplay. I know it was from, you know, a Frank Baum uh, off of the wonderful Wizard of Oz. But, like, did they come out with this in 1939, chosen Kansas, because it matched up with the latitude, longitude, or was just this design before man ever got here? And the thoughts that come in our heads, those aren't our thoughts. We're being used with the whatever's running this reality. But when you take the latitude, longitude, and you add it up, this is going to go 137 to 138. But this is the element that's going to contain that 137 and 138. It'll also mesh into lanthanum, but it's this 56 called barium. And this, this element right here is massive in describing how our reality works. The average of barium is 137.905. There's the match of the latitude longitude of Lebanon. And when you go to numberempire.com, looking to the right hand side of your screen, 137 is the 33rd prime number. And that's a match to where they were going to follow the yellow brick road. I mean, it was all about the Emerald City. You see how ridiculous this code is, folks? This is like ridiculously funny to me anyway. So we have the bull's head, the bullseye, directly matching the numerology of the city, the zip code, <coughs> the route 191, you know, just all this code, that, right? Starting this off presentation with a bang and I didn't, I probably, you probably thought, well, I didn't, wasn't expecting this. Yeah, but it's the Emerald City right here. And of course, Emerald is the color green, which we go right back to that chakra and being the heartland of the United States, the heart chakra. There's no denying this. When you can see all the esoteric layers to this, it's just hilarious. So astrology and religion, it's all tied up together. There's no separation. So what's, what's the division for? Because everybody's just trying to be right. So let's go in a little bit further. I decided to look into Lebanon, Kansas. Remember, this is Kansas is where Wizard of Oz all originated from. Lebanon, Kansas, the heart of the geographical center of the United States. It was founded in the year 1876. And I decided to check it out at numberempire.com. Look at the number that it's assigned to. The 1876 prime number is this number. What do you see right there? Yeah, it's the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence. Well, I shouldn't say the Fibonacci, the golden spiral. Anyway, it's the 1.61. 1.61. It's the golden ratio. And it's tied to the sun, and we're going to get into that. What I thought was also interesting, what about the area code? Of, of Kansas in this area, 785. Look at what number it's tied to. There's that golden ratio again. So we have the 785 area code, and then we have the founding date, 1876. 
they're pretty much a direct match. You got the one, six, and one in there in both of these expressions. How about that? So that leads into the second topic called God the Mathematician. And oh boy, this one completely blew me away. But let's let's have fun with this, right? So I decided to bring in the, you know, uh, the very original cipher in numerology, the Francis Bacon, which is a very pure cipher in its own sense or right because it uses the uppercase and lowercase letters, the only one of its kind, A through uh, Z, 1 through 26, A through Z, uppercase, 27 through 52, tied to the cards of illumination and, um, and the alphabet, of course. And there it is when you capitalize them all. It's going to get a different output if you, you know, mess around with the first letters being capitalized, but it's the 666. And, you know, a lot of you, oh my God, it's the devil. It's Satan. It's the Masons. It's the Jesuits. They're the ones that are behind all of this. <laughs> Gotta have fun with this, but it's the 666. So using the rules of Francis Bacon to get your output, what you do is you take your total output. You should be doing this with your name. I had a decode on how to decode your name through the Francis Bacon. You get your total output. In this case, it's 666. You subtract 52 multiple times until you get to 52 or below. If you get to 52, you stop and then it becomes the King Spades card, card 52, and you can figure out what card it lands on. But the 666, when you reduce it down, it takes 12 different, I think it's 12, yeah, 12 different 52s. Um, you end up getting to the number 42. And now we're tying this Wizard of Oz and God is a Mathematician to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the 1970s book and the, the TV show on the BBC. And it's the 42. It's life, the universe, everything. And I decoded 42. Specifically that number. If you haven't seen that decode, please check it out. But there it is. 666, the great beast, we're all the beast, we're the Sobolo beast, it's all about the 42, because we're tied to that 42, that was the supercomputer's output of the big question, and going further, what does this 42 mean, I'm, this is, has a purpose for this Wizard of Oz, folks, because it all has to do with this mathematician, but the 42 is tied to this element right here called molybdenum, which means lead. And we know that prison planet is lead to gold. So think about what I'm showing you here with the 666 and being down here in the, remember crucifixion, reincarnation, those words all equal the number 42 in the Chaldean. That 95 weight of molybdenum, its average is tied to the I am, 95 is the am. And the molybdenum comes from this word right here from the Greeks called molybdos. And there's that 33 tied to the 666. When we go even further than that, of course, we go right back to the Wizard of Oz and where they were headed, the Emerald City. So it's obviously the Wizard of Oz is playing tribute out to lead to gold. That's definitely in the scope of what we're seeing here, just by going on a completely different notion of God as a mathematician. And of course, let's bring in the Masons. Yeah, I better believe it because there is no separation. These people got knowledge, you know? I mean, forget what you think about these people. Just go pu purely on the information that you get. Leave your opinions at home. And this, you know, Malebdos, if you go one step further, I showed, going back here, like, how did I get both outcomes? Because the Greek reduce all the way down becomes these single digits. But when you go one step up, the M becomes the 13th letter in the Greek. So it reduces down to the four, and then this O is the 16, reduces down to the seven. But if you keep them in its pure form like this, you can even go to the isopsophy and get an outcome there. But it's the 105, and there it is, folks. It's what the Masons call the G-O-D. It's the great architect of the universe. And there you have it, folks. There is no separation, man. And there's no favorites. And there's not like, well, my way's the right way and you're wrong. That's, that's, that's absurd to say that, to even think that. Because it's right there staring you in the face. What are you going to do about it? You're going to refute this information? You can do that all you want. That's totally fine. You got to make the truth your own anyway. So what about that 105? What about it? It is tied to red and blue, the red shift, blue shift. Thank you, Santos. 
you know, blue five, one red. But anyway, that's for a different story. Going to the string of pi, that 105 is found at the 49th, 50th, and 51st decimal digits of the string of pi. 49 is tied to the fish, the salmon card, down in a hole, because it's the architect coming down here and playing out man or mankind. Uh, to what degree, to what level, I have no idea. What about the golden ratio and the, the numbers involved in the golden ratio? Well, the 76 found from the element osmium, we are talking about the Wizard of Oz, is found at the 49th and 50th decimal digit. See the match right here of the pi and the golden ratio? So, you know, if you've been using the string of pi, which, you know, I mean, I have heavily used it. My last name is Payette, so I was definitely destined to start using it to decode. But I started to get into the golden ratio because there's a lot of truth from that, from the sun. And uh, this, this connection right here is undeniable. You can clearly see that the great architect of the universe that the Masons call the G.O.D. is nothing other than the Wizard of Oz in the movies. It's all the same, and it's tied to this element, osmium, because of these connections through pure mathematics and nature. This is the measurement of nature. This is not me trying to come up with some kind of theory. This is nature. This element really exists, folks. This really exists. And if you know what the 191 is, you know, battery is 19 or 91. And, you know, gold is 196. There's the permutation of that number, the 961. Folks, I could just keep going and going and going. I hope you can start to see how this code is completely fixed. And it was designed long before man ever got here. I can, I can assure you that. So let's get into the operating system, the third topic. It's like, what does this have to do with the Wizard of Oz? Well, the Wizard of Oz is the operating system. Or well, part of it. So, you know, when you look at this element osmium, obviously there's a match. Osmium is the Oz, it's the Wizard of Oz. The Emerald City, Kansas. I mean, you're starting to see all these things that are undeniable in this ridiculous comical code. So here's the operating system. I've come out with this before, but it's the OS. And when you look at the OS, just pure numerology and, you know, the first letters of each word are the kind of the rudders of the ship. There's the 73. 73 is the 21st prime number. It's going to be tied to words like Zeus, tied to Saturn. Many different connecting points with these words in the 73 and the 21 tied to Tantalum and King Tantalum. But nonetheless, here's the OS. The, uh, what is running this reality? It's the operating system. I mean, you're, the computer or your phone you're on watching this transmission has an operating system inside of it. So this, this whole reality that we experience is also run by an operating system. Why would it be any different? And there's the 56 with the operating system. It's a 36 and 20. And we can break that down. And, you know, lo and behold, that's what it is. See, we're living in a movie. I don't know how that really works. Because it's easy to say, yeah, we're living in the Truman Show. Well, I don't see no cameras. But I know we're living in a simulation. This, this is like proof, support. So this is the only thing I can go by to measure numbers and math and, you know, equations, real science. And this operating system is tied to these words right here in Hollywood. Ho think about what I'm showing you here. This is what Hollywood producers say or directors say to go start a scene. Lights, camera, action. We're living inside of a movie. The Wizard of Oz was a movie. And it's an operating system. And this was a massive find. So please pay attention to this. Let me narrate this. Just follow my lead. So operating system, of course, is lights, camera, action. But what's the operation? It's 36. That's what's operating this system. So the system is 20. Tied to calcium and our bone. What, what are our bones made up of? Calcium. The skeleton, calcium, clay, Prometheus. We're going to get into that. And duality is 20. Mason is 20. Pawn is 20. The mouse card is the 20th card in the medicine deck. You're getting to see this. This is what we're all in. It's the judgment card, the system. 
that we all live in from the Wizard of Oz. And what operates the system? The 36. What is the 36? Well, it's the Phoenix. Well, what's the Phoenix, folks? It's the sun. The sun has such a big role and say in this. I mean, look at the projector and then look at the sun and the rays. It's, it's so identical, similar. And the 36th element is Krypton. And where was Superman from? Krypton. What was his, you know, what, what was that green thing that he was, that would bring him down? Kryptonite. It was green. Folks, you can't miss this now. This is staring you in the face. And Superman was from the sun. It's Krypton, the sun. And 83, if you remember me doing my <coughs> prison planets, I showed the machinations, the incarnation, reincarnation process. The, the Trinity is the number 83, and it's tied to bismuth, of course. And it's the sun, the moon, and earth. That's the reincarnation, incarnation process. It's the operating system that keeps us in this reality. Can we ever get out? I don't know. Are we stuck here? I don't know. That's something I can't answer for a fact. But these, this is real stuff here. And you know, the, the calcium has an average of 40, but there's the 42. What's 42? 42, we go right back to reincarnation and wonderland and crucifixion. These are all words that equal the 42 tied to the earlier slides that I showed right here, tied to God as a mathematician and led. We're led, folks, 42, life, the universe, anything, 42. It's the system that we live in. It's a movie. It's not real. Feels real. What about the cards of illumination? What about the cards of illumination? What do they have to say in all this? Well, here's the 36 card in the deck. The 10 diamonds, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. 10 is the binary system. Ted's tied to the yod. And then duality, on, I'm sorry, system is 20. And here's the 20th card in the deck, the seven clubs card. So it's the 10 and the seven. And when you bring these two cards together, you get 107. And it's the 28th prime number. Remember how I started this off with Kansas. The geographical center of the United States was Lebanon, which is 28. The zip code was 28. The bullseye is 28. Can you start to say, and Lucifer's 28. 28 is the second perfect number in mathematics. The first being six, tied to the third eye. Folks, to me, these are undeniable, but it's, you know, it's a matter of what you see. And I thought this was just kind of a great end to this particular topic here, is the 10 diamonds being the 36 card in the deck uh, is, fa is found in the tarot. The tarot came after the cards of illumination. Here is the 10 of pentacles. And if you use the fool as the 22nd card, this becomes card number 74. It's one of the most fortunate cards for outcomes. If you get this card for a reading, 10 of pentacles, card 74. And look at what it's tied to. It's the wolf. Feed the wolf. And they used to make filaments out of tungsten. And what is a light bulb? It's, the, it's a rendition of the sun. So the operating system is telling you. It's Superman. It's the sun. Kal-El. And it's tied to the 74 and the wolf. Feed the wolf. So what wants your energy? The wolf. The sun. Tied to the Wizard of Oz. So when you break down these elements even further, this is a very, this, I'm spending time on this, folks. This is really important. I know that we're not getting into the meat and potatoes of the movie, but this is what the movie's all about. Telling you the operating system. So this calcium element here, number 20, is found from this word right here. The Latinized version of it is called calyx. Or calx. And there's so much more to this, but there it is, the 12. And here it is. Here's the definition, the breakdown of it. Calcium was named after the Latin term calx, which means lime. What color is the Emerald City? Lime. 
It's lime. What what color does yellow and green make? Lime. Think about what I'm telling you here and showing you. Lime, yellow and green, yellow and green. And then you can get into the mid, this right here, the mixture of lime and mercur mercuric oxide. If you want to get into the metal calcium, and that's where you're going to get into Prometheus. So is Prometheus, the story of Prometheus, the Titan who stole fire from the gods and gave it to humans who molded mankind out of clay. Think about what I'm showing you this story right here. Is this the wizard? Prometheus. Here is what you make. You, here's the formula to make calcium as a metal. Lime and mercuric oxide, 61. Prometheum, 61. There's that 144,000. And then the calcium and our bones and the 42. This has so much merit, folks, tied to the operating system. So we bring Greek mythology into the Wizard of Oz now. So what about that word Krypton? How about that one? We broke down calcium. How about Krypton? The operating of the system. What operate? What runs the system? The operation. It's Krypton, the sun. So what this is saying, to f found from lights, camera, action. Here it is in the Greek. Kryptos, meaning hidden, secret, hidden. And the word golden is 27. I mean, look at the connection to this. Pretty pretty undeniable jupiter's 27 is the sun jupiter's sun the sun our sun could be the sun the sun of jupiter could be and then when you bring these two words together from their original spellings the greek was from cryptos calcium from the latinized version of it you could even use the francis bacon but there it is 27 plus 12 is going to give you 39 and you're going to get this element yttrium which is all about time travel and the number 88 the operating system ends up leading to, through the numerology of these two elements, 88. And that's important because the very one thing that Dorothy said in The Wizard of Oz was, there's no place like home. And it's the Taurus fields. It's beyond the things that we see in our reality, the sun, the moon, the earth, space, the stars. It's the Taurus fields. It's magnetism and electricity. It's the 88 found from the numerology of these two elements found from the operating system which is found from the wizard of oz the os osmium right there you can't miss this folks the code is staring you in the face and so to finish this topic up right here if you weren't already blown away already, and this completely blew me away last night when i put i've just found this stuff last night here are the three guys that were involved in the discoveries of these two elements. Obviously, these two elements are big because they perhaps describe the Wizard of Oz and the operating system that we all live through, which obviously the sun has a big say in all this. So these two guys right here, please go fact check this. These two guys discovered Krypton, Morris and William, and then Humphrey Davy discovered calcium. Of course, you know I'm going to break it all down with the cards, which here it is. So Morris Travers, June, January 24th, he's got the three diamonds. William Ramsey, the October 2nd, he's got the seven diamonds. And then Humphrey Davy, who found calcium or discovered calcium, was born on December 17th. He's got the ace clubs card, card 29, card 33, and card 14. Go ahead and pause this video. Get out your calculator, and I want you to add up those three cards and tell me what you come up with. And so if you did that, you're going to come up with this right here. 76. How about that? So when somebody says the cards don't have any relevance, they're being ignorant because they have everything to do. They're 52 cards, 52 weeks of the year. They have everything to do with this reality. Your birthday, your birth card has everything to do with who you are and why you're here. It's a piece of you. These three dudes involved in discovering the two elements that make up the words operating system found from 
Osmium, the OS, equals the number 76. Are you freaking kidding me? What are the odds? And are these guys trying to mock you? They're trying to pull the wooly over your eyes. Trying to screw you over in life. No, folks, you see, these people are just doing their jobs. You can look at it in so many other ways. I'm just using the Chaldean. But you can clearly see that the Wizard of Oz is Osmium. And these three guys were supposed to be born into this reality. And they were supposed to discover these elements because of their cards. And you could add up their birthdays. And there's so many more layers to this. So many more layers to this. So let's get into the next topic. Home. Home. There's no place like home. And I already kind of gave this one away. There's the 88. I mean, it's pretty right in your face. This is what Dorothy said. There's no, she wanted to go home, smack those glass, uh, those ruby slippers together three times. I could have just went crazy on that. But there it is, the 88. And we start with one eight in the Taurus fields, the latitude, <coughs> excuse me. And then we have another one. We mirror it, we flip it to its side, and then we bring it together. And there is the four leaf clover. I've shown this in my uh, great architect of the universe, the very first one. I've done it in other videos as well. There's the butterfly in the dead center, which is the number nine, which is all about rhodium. And I've broken all this down, but there's the 88. The Taurus fields, there's one that runs north to south, and there's one that runs east to west. That's how this reality works. And it's run on magnetism and electricity. And it's governed by the number 88. No place like home. And, you know, I mean, you could break down home. Home is 21. Wizard is 21. And that's tied to the world card in the tarot. So what about this Wizard of Oz? Well, you got that 21 connection with home. Home is 21. Wizard is 21. But what about this 50, this total outcome of 50? What about this one? Well, I mean, it's tied to money for sure. And those of you that are big into, you know, the, you Christians or you Catholics or Protestants or Baptists, any kind of religion, you know, think about what I'm showing you here. You know, do you use money? You tithe. You buy things with it. But you, there's no separation on the God of this world and you, you think there's a different God because... If, the, if, the, if, if you go into the Bible and you read that kind of stuff, it says that the, the, the God that rules this system of thing is Satan and he rules all things down in this world. Well, I guess he rules religion because that's part of this world. So you can't separate and say, well, no, that's not part of it. But, you know, it, that's part. Money's part of it. No, folks, it's all the same. Just be a good person. 50 and 50. In God we trust. Wizard of Oz. That's why, why is money green? It's tied to the wizard. It's the emerald. It's the emerald city. So when you break down the word Oz, you get the Oz, 14, and you get time, 14. What is, what is Oz is running time. Here's Doctor Strange with the time stone, manipulating time. We only get so much time, and the Wizard of Oz runs time. And, it, you know, I have a decode coming out on this right here. The house always wins. It's not about gambling per se, even though I have the dice and cards there. It's about the house and what is running the house. <coughs> and it's all about feeding the wolf. And the house always wins. You bet your bottom dollar because it's Oz and it's time. And that's what always wins. So I got this decode coming out. And in this decode, here is what runs time. It's our emotions, our two emotions, love and fear, 16 and 21. Did I bring a slide? Yeah, there it is. Here is 16 and 21. This is what runs the operating system through the human experience. It's fear, 16, and it's love, 21. 16 and 21 just so happens to be tied to pi in the Greek and phi in the Greek. 16 and 21. And when you add up 16 and 21 using the alchemical uh, elements, it's sulfur and scandium. Notice they both start with the letter S, which is linked to the word sun. And when you add them up in the dead center, this is what you're going to get right here. 77.016, which, you know, if you reduce that down, you get your Las Vegas jackpot. Seven, 
seven, seven, and the house always wins. What is the house? Well, obviously it's tied to that 77 and it's tied to the 77 in Oz, which is time. It's time. We only get so much time. The house always wins. Time will definitely dictate that. But it's our love and fear emotions. When you do the numerology of 1621, you get the number 60 and you're right back to feed the wolf. Which one are you going to feed? You're going to use both. And it's the wizard that runs it. It's a wizard that runs this, this paradigm, folks. Here's another rendition of it. Oz is 41 in the English. It's a mirror. It's interesting. Um, someone had come out with a, a little thing on social media about Black Star and David Bowie and his last album, Black Star, the total timestamp of that, that album was 41 minutes and 14 seconds. And there it was, it's time. And in between the 41 and 14 is the 33, of course, which is the Emerald City which is the Emerald City. So let's get into Osmium now. Because this, this is about the Wizard of Oz. This is the real takeaway. It's the element, Osmium. Who was behind the green curtain? Well, it, what I should say, what is behind the green curtain? It's Osmium. Now, Osmium, I'm showing a different weight. 190 is its average. 19 is a battery, of course. 191 is its most abundant. So these elements, all these elements have multiple. I'm going with the average right now. But here it is. Who is the wizard? Well, wizard is 21 and it's tied to this word, this card right here in the tarot called the world card, which is the last card in the major arcana. Think about what I'm showing you here. The wizard of Oz, the four fixed signs, the ox, lion, eagle, man. This is all astrology astro theology there is no separation between the bible and astrology they're all the same this osmium element came from this greek word osmi which means smell but here it is in the greek reduction fully brewed, broken all the way down it's the 21 it's a match to the wizard think about what i'm showing you here the original spelling of the word, where it came from, is a direct match to the word wizard that we use, the wizard of Osmium. Running, and the tarot has its say. This is, not, this is not anything satanic, ridiculous notions like that. This is all Jewish, and this has got a lot of Judaism in here. Jewish mysticism, the Rider weight deck anyway. But there it is, the 21. Tied to the word currency because or gold currency because scandium is 44. But anyway, you're breaking it down even further. When you get into the cards of illumination, the 21st card in the deck is the eight clubs card. And the eight clubs card is converted into the eight of wands. So this is the minor or the pip cards, as they call it. And this is the 30th card in the deck using the Fool is card 22. And that's linked to this right there. The Demiurge. The Gnostics called the ruler of this reality the Demiurge. It's the Wizard of Oz. It has many hats, many titles, many names. It's the Wizard of Osmium. And this is, this is undeniable in my book. When you bring all these elements together, this gives you the true essence of what this reality means through Hollywood movies and science. You bring them all together. How about when you do the alchemology of osmium, the original spelling osmi from the Greek? It's a four-letter word. Seven, <coughs> excuse me, two, seven, two, four, eight. It's interesting. It has the seven and the eight in there, which is the air that we breathe. Going over to the trusty calculator and adding that up, look what you get. 43.13. 43, of course, is not just any number. It's tied to the 191. 191 is the 43rd prime number. And what is the most abundant weight of osmium? 191. That's why I know alchemology, which is taking numerology and blending it with alchemy and then using the trusty calculator. It's undeniable here. And then using pure math. So who's the Wizard of Oz or what is the Wizard of Oz? Well, it's tied to this element right here, Osmium, obviously. 
tied to the emerald city going even further how about the medicine cards these cards came out in 1988 what do they have to say about the wizard of oz well, what would the wizard be be doing spinning his web casting his web the World Wide web and that's the spider card 43 this card has nothing to do with the Wizard of Oz, but it has every. They didn't sit down with this because they had this in from Jamie Sames and the people that created the, the medicine deck in 1988. No, they were being used. It's okay to be used. Have the time of your life. Discover what your code is. These people didn't sit down with this beforehand. Like, oh, the Wizard of Oz, it's Osmium. Let's go back to the original spelling and let's do the alchemology of it. And it's going to be 43. And so we have to match that to being the spider card because it's casting the web. The spider catches you. And the, the spider is the 88. The Black Widow has the, the 88 on its belly. Or at least it's got the hourglass shape on there representing time. And then if you add up the 76 and 43 the 43 is tied to this element here called technetium you add it up you get 119 the 119 what's interesting about technetium is that it's really well known for being the first, i think it's the first artificial element it's created from artificial so <coughs> is is uh, you know this technology is that just the wizard of oz is the wizard of oz just artificial intelligence from time built from time from human beings and we created the world wide web and that's why i would say just we're the devils be the best little devil you can be folks it's okay it's just the way we're built so what about the movie let's get into some of the nuts and bolts of the movie which i know you've been waiting for what about the release date this is this is how it's ridiculous here's the release date of course 1939 it came out of course and as you know lebanon kansas has got the latitude north of 39 degrees north but here it is folks it's the, here's technetium and it's from this word right here in the greek technetos i think that's how it's pronounced and there there's the 39 there it is found from osmium remember where the geographical center of the united states was it was right off route 191 there's the 191 there's the 43 there's the 43 and this element numerology wise from its original spelling broken all the way down in the reduction of the greek is the 39 this movie came out in 1939 lebanon kansas 39 degrees north on the latitude i mean folks start to use common sense and logic what do you start to see the code's fixed it's all dialed into the code I came, I'm showing this because I came out with this random thoughts number 10. If you haven't seen this one, please check it out. It's bringing seven different topics, all different designs and kind of decoding them all. But I showed how the tree of life and tree of knowledge is tied to the number 98. And of course, tied to the air we breathe. And that 98 is tied to technetium. So it's, if you want to check out random thoughts number 10, please check it out. So here are the four main characters in the Wizard of Oz. So I decided to break them down. And look at what I found. Here it is. The Cowardly Lion, Dorothy, the Scarecrow, and the Tin Man. There they are, the four of them. It's 167. And it's not just any number. It's the freaking 39th prime number. What year did this movie come out? 1930. So again, do you think that the producers were sitting down? This 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 came out long before the movie. Did, did they know this prior? And they say, well, we got to come out with it in 1939 because the characters are 167, and they're not going to find us in any other cipher. So if they were conscious of this, guess what cipher they were using? Chaldean. As I have been continuing to show, it is the most pure cipher closest to the source. What about the release date itself and tied to the card? August 25th is when this movie came out. This is the card that it's tied to. The Ace Clubs card, card number 14. There's the connection. More connections now. They would have to get this right. So now the people that are making these movies, they, they would have to be involved with the cards too. And alchemy, and math, and prime numbers, and pi, and golden ratio, all these numbers. They would have to get, they would have to sit down and do it before they even make the movie. I just think that's absurd thinking. 
It's, you can't miss this. 25th, 14th card. The Wizard of Oz is 14. It's time. Ruling over time. Which, you know, Satan is 14. Satan is time. That's what time decays things. It breaks things down. So when you, I, and I have, I have more of this one coming out. Uh, yeah. But here, I have more on this one right here. This number right here. This Osmium. What about this 76? Because this is such a big deal, right? This Osmium and the 76. So in the golden ratio, which is tied to the sun, golden ratio. What about that number 76? Well, as I showed, it's found in the 49th and 50th decimal digit, which equals 109, which is the 29th prime number, tied to Yaldabaoth, tied to the Yod. But it's, you know, down in a hole. I, I've shown this before in the matrix breakdown, down in a hole. So is this the wizard coming down into the hole and becoming man or woman? Is that so far-fetched? It's the fallen angel story. And then we go back to the medicine cards and lo and behold, they have a fish here. I mean, how, see how comical this is? So what Jamie Sames, 1988, they came out with this deck. Did, were they sitting down here with these words and say, well, down in the hole is 49, so we got to make this the fish card. That's absurd. No, they were being used. That's the common sense and logical uh, outcome we have, I think. And we're all goldfish. Gold is 17. Fish is 17. We're playing out life. Matrix is 17. You know, that's, that's, that's what's going on here. We go right back to the dollar bill. 76 occupies digit 49 and 50. And there's in God we trust. The Wizard of Oz is 50. So it's undeniable, folks, what we're seeing here. That this is pure mathematical precision. And man could never code this. Man could never code this. So I talked about this just a little bit ago. Here it is, 49 and 50 found from 76 in the string of the golden ratio. 49 plus 50 equals the number 109. It's the 29th prime number. Now we get into more Gnostic Demiurge aspect and the worm with the lion's head, Yaldabaoth. And there's some renditions like, is this serious? Because they're, you know... There could, there could be serious. And remember, 29 is the 10th prime number. The 10th letter in the Hebrew alphabet is the Yod. Yod, Yaldabaoth, kind of sounds like the same thing. Is that the Wizard of Oz? Well, they have merit in the story because they're embedded in the mathematics of what I'm showing. And what about that 29? So we go back up here. So we've, we left off with this Yaldabaoth, found from the Wizard of Oz and the digits in the golden ratio. So what about that 29? Well, if we put the 29 in the string of the golden ratio, look at where it appears. We get to Lucifer now. Lucifer, in my opinion, is the sun. Lucifer's numbers, Manly P. Hall, secret teachings of... I'm not, I'm not saying he's right. Just, I'm quoting what he said. Lucifer is 741. Well, there is the 741, and there's a pretty pretty good rendition of spelling Lucifer or Lucy. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. The diamonds is the sun. That's the shape it makes in the sky. The diamond shape. And here is, you know, silicon 14. And it has, an, it has uh, one of its most stable isotopes is 29. It's got 27, 28, 29, but 29 is one of its most stable isotopes. And that combination of the 14 and 29, there it is. It's the Wizard of Oz ruling over time. So is it Yaldabaoth that is ruling? Is it the Gnostic Demiurge and the Archons? That story. And again, it's a story written in the script that we can't prove. All we can do is talk about it, theorize with it. But obviously there's something running this operating system. And if you go outside and study nature, that's, that's going to be the very most common sense and logical thing to do. Study that first. And I think my, my last slide on this topic right here, I decoded, if you haven't seen They Live Decoded, one of my most watched, this was... 1988 this came out this was the news station that was broadcasting a hypnotic trance to keep you in a spell and it was cable 54 
and 54 in the string of pi appears at the digit 191. And I showed this tied to Osmium, the Wizard of Oz. This, this is undeniable. These movies are telling you all that. They're telling you all that. So let's get into the next topic. Let's be frank. What are we going to be frank about? Well, how about the guy who wrote the wonderful Wizard of Oz? Lyman Frank Baum. And what about this dude? who had this origination of the Wizard of Oz. Where the 1939 movie came from, this dude. This is his birthday. Notice the 15. 15 is the, 47 is the 15th prime number. Tied to the Tetragrammaton. Here's his birth card. May 15th, four diamonds card. Here, I don't have the boilerplate chart in front of me, but there it is. Most of you should know this now. You should have the boilerplate chart for all the cards. Here's May 15th's card. It's the Jack in the Box card. The Jack, Jack in the Box, the fast food restaurant was founded with this card. Jack in the Box. This guy was Jack in the Box telling you the story about the wizard. Being used to tell you the story about the Wizard of Oz. This being the 30th card in the deck tied to these two titles or nouns that the G.O.D. goes by. Goes by many names. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. Folks, it just you could keep going and going and going. It's all the same. So just pick one that you like. Demiurge is 30. The New Age name, Jehovah, 30. Nazareth equals 30. Santa Claus equals 30. And it's tied to this element right here. The element that's tied to Lucifer. Phosphorus. There's the 30. And there's the 15. There's his birthday, 15. So if you look at this, he's born on the 15th. This is his birth card. It's the 30th card, and it's right there inside that box. It's the light bringer. It's phosphorus. And it's tied to the New Age name, Jehovah, the Israel, the God of the Bible, the Tetragrammaton, and the Demiurge, what the Gnostics call the G-O-D. And when we go even further... If you want to just go right to zinc and go to the protons of zinc, there's this element right here. You know, I thought this was really interesting. You know, the average retirement age in the United States is 65. Just food for thought. When you add up 15 and 30, you get 45. There's his name in numerology. Using these two elements. And then, you know, his first name is 14 and, you know, Oz is 14. So, I mean, the connections from this dude right here are insane. This guy was being used to create the story and entertain all of us. So let's be Frank. So he has the Frank in the, his middle name. Here's Frank that was the actual wizard behind the green curtain that the dog found. Of course, the dog found it, the D-O-G spelled backwards, of course. Just small symbolism. Here he is, Frank Morgan. Francis Philip Wupperman. Big star in the uh, 1940s. And, you know, the, the <laughs> comedy comes right away. It's, you know, June 1st is his birthday. 61's tied to Prometheum. He's got the 6-1 birthday. But here's his birth card. Let's go right to the cards and, and look at what card it is in the number. 42. Remember, God is a mathematician, linking down to the 42. And now we get into life, the universe, and everything. And these two guys right here were, this is off the BBC and this supercomputer. And these guys, and they did a remake of it called Deep Thought. And there was other people involved. The story just keeps going from, from Douglas Adams' book, book called Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But of course, lo and behold, this guy right here, think about it, and this is green. This machine they made green to match the green of the Emerald City. Because there's no separation. And, you know, the secret was, what's, what's life, the universe, everything? What's the big secret? 42. You're not going to like it. It's 42. And there's the 39 again there's the 88 no place like home and you have 
This is the original spelling of Lucifer in the air. It should have been Aramaic. I spelled that wrong, but it's 75, 39, or 12. There's the 39. So you can see the connections to Lucifer. <clears throat> and the 42 is the secret. And this guy right here played the wizard. Think about what I'm showing you. He played the Wizard of Oz behind the green curtain in the movie. The Emerald City. And then these guys were told that 42 is the secret and they got the green supercomputer machine. And then all the things that came with it. It's just the code is ridiculous ridiculously funny you know and, the, and just it's just the emerald green and you know green is 20 the word green equals 20 in numerology you know and so i decided to of course you know let's how, how about this remember this guy's big he played the wizard so here is his card here's his element he's got calcium as well but there's there's the element that means lead so it's 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 is it the architect coming down here and becoming man? I mean, again, the fallen angel story. That There's that story. So why is it too far-fetched to not believe that whatever created this reality is not coming down here and using us to use our avatars and experience life? But there it is. It's lead. Again, it's the I am. 95 is the am. The I am. And it means lead. Lead to gold. The three spades is connected to this card. The three swords. And it's the 53rd card in the deck, and it's tied to the I. Yeshua equals 53. See, folks, if there's no... You, you can get into any biblical thing you want and try to, like, dance around and say, oh, no, it's not that. Folks, it's everything. There is no separation. Good, bad, and ugly, it's all down here. And it's all run by the same source. It's the I. It's the I am. Using Frank Morgan. Let's be frank about this. And when you get down here in Wonderland, there's a lot of heartbreak, a lot of suffering. Because now you got to play out this avatar. This was tied to the Truman Show. If you haven't seen my decode on that. So if you take these two elements right here, found from this, remember, do we take this guy's birth card, 42, and then it converts into the tarot card, which is card 53. So now we get I, the iodine. And you get the am here with the 95, so it's iodine and molybdenum. And when you add these up together, from the birth card of Frank Morgan, who played the Wizard of Oz, using that trusty calculator, look at what number you get. Pure math. 222 point, it's a triple two, 222.854, but wait, there's more. Because when you take that 222 and you add it to the 854, you're going to get 1,076. And there's the 76 tied to osmium. But what was even more fascinating about this, I decided to go deeper. And I decided to do the conversion of this in temperature. And there it was. Undeniable. Using just simple conversions of temperature that occur in nature. 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit is 42 degrees Celsius. And we have life, the universe, everything. All found from the guy casted to play the Wizard of Oz. Wow. Wow well, was right. What about if you do the length? How about the feet and meters? <laughs> How about the conversion? Of, so if you weren't convinced then, like, oh yeah, that's fun. Okay. You didn't, you're not a believer? Well, how about feet to meter? How about the conversion of that? 137 feet, 42 meters. So there's that 137 tied to the 42. Life, the universe, everything tied to the Wizard of Oz. Tied to the guy who they cast to play the Wizard of Oz. Tied to his birth card. 42. So I brought it in and I decided to take a look at this. And of course, I showed this earlier. What's 137? It's the 33rd prime. And there's the 33. And so this is why it's not Masonic, folks. It's like we have to get over these concepts of like, it's Masonic and it's Jesuit. Folks, they're just using the, they're being used. 
you, you, now you're conscious of it. What are you going to do about it? You're going to stop pointing the finger? So it's right there. The Emerald City. Cities pie, 3.141. We live in cities. But it's the 33 tied to the, the measurement of feet to meters. 137 and 42. Life, the universe, everything. Tied to the 33. It's pure math. This is mathematical genius, not done by man. And so we're being, we're being laughed at, not by man, but by whatever's running this reality. You got to have fun with this. Because it goes right back to this 56 element. I showed it really in the very beginning, breaking down Kansas and the latitude longitude of Kansas being 137. The heartland, the bullseye of this world in the United States anyway. And that's why they chose Kansas for this movie, The Wizard of Oz. But it's tied to this element, barium. And barium is 137. It's the 33rd prime number. And it's going right back to Hollywood. That's right, because there's no separation. Hollywood, we're in a movie. And it's lights, camera, action. So 56 tied to the protons of barium. Barium has an atomic weight of 137. It's most, it's average, I should say. And it's the 33rd prime number tied to the Emerald City found from the conversion of these things that are found in nature, feet to meter. And Celsius to Fahrenheit, it's the Wizard of Oz. It's all mathematically precise, not done by man. Have fun with this reality. Know your code. So let's break down this movie aspect. This is huge. This element, I'm going to go deeper in this for another decode, but I'm going to skim the surface of this because this was some of the most profound pieces of decoding I have ever found to confirm that whatever creates this reality comes down here and becomes man or woman. This is my support for that. It's my opinion, but here's my support. So we know lights, camera, action is 56. We know barium is 137. We know it's tied to the 33 and barium is swallowing. It's swallowing the light. That's what it means because we swallow barium for a barium meal. You just got to convert it into the spiritual sense. So here's the characteristics of barium. The reason why I'm showing this is because the melting point, the melting point of this element, we're made up of liquid, is a thousand degrees Kelvin. Kelvin's measured from the sun, the K, potassium 19. But this is where it was right here, folks. This was jaw on the floor, mic drop. Going into the golden ratio. Why the golden ratio? Because the golden ratio is tied to the sun. Lights, camera, action. It's the, it's the projector. And here it was. Where that 1,076. Why that 1,076? Well, it's tied to right here. Found from the guy that played... The Wizard of Oz, his birth card. That's where we started and we got the 1,076. Well, I looked up that 1,076 in the gold, string of the golden ratio and look at where, it found, where, where it's found. At the 1,001st decimal digit, that's where it starts. So what's before that? 1,000. So we know 1,076 is tied to the Wizard of Oz. So one digit below that is 1,000. There it was. It's swallowing light coming down and slowing down and becoming physical matter. Folks, think about what I'm showing you here. That 1,076, one digit behind, it's the number two of all numbers, which is duality, tied to the bull. Taurus the bull is the second zodiac sign. Duality at the 1,000th decimal digit, and it's tied to the melting point of barium, which is lights, camera, and action, tied to the 137 and the 33rd prime, tied to Emerald City. Folks, this is profound information I'm showing you. At least I think it is. What about the string of pie? Well, as you, most of you know, the decoders out there, the 101 is the portal tied to it and 853rd decimal digit is the, is the occupying digit for the zero right there so at 1000 is the the reason why i'm showing the thousand is because it's the melting point of barium and barium is tied to perhaps 
how we got here. The story of it anyway. So where's the thousand found in the digits of pi? Right after the freaking portal. It's right after the portal, the 101 portal, 854, 853 is the portal. And when you go 853 digits into the string of pi, including the three point, you're going to get the number 300, 3,803. There it is. This zero right there is the portal found from that 1000 found from barium's melting point perhaps giving us the indication of how we actually get here to some degree now, i know this is pretty abstract but to me this is the most some of the most profound stuff i've ever found if you know what you're looking at and when you add up these digits, this is another way to decode. Take all your digits in the string of pi, add them all up. What is your outcome? 853 digits. There is the zero, the 710. There it is. Just so you know, that's where it is. You can go fact check this. There's the 710 ending it. It's 853. Adding on the three point gives you 854, but there's 3,803. Why is this important? Why is the 3,803 important? Because it brings us to this right here. 383. So I decided to look at the 383. Why did I do that? Because it's tied to the 76. 383 is the 76th prime number. Think about what I'm showing you here. 383 is the 76th prime number. And it's osmium. So we have this connection of the 383. It's right there found in the total addition of the string of pi where the 1000 and the portal is. And that's found from the melting point of barium, which is lights, camera, action, which is tied to the 33 from the 137 being the 33rd prime number. Think about what I'm showing you here. We're inside of a movie. This, to me, is absolute support. The melting point of barium. I got way more. I'm, I'm, I'm digging into this, but I got way more. So I decided to look into the 383 because I know it's the 76 prime number. It's a pretty big deal number. So I typed in 383 into Google. I wanted to see what, what in our reality is tied to that 383. And it's this building right here in New York, of course, the root chakra. 383 Madison. Look at the specs on this thing. It's surrounded by four city streets, Madison, Vanderbilt. You can decode all this if you wanted to. 46 and 47 is tied to the tree of life and tree of knowledge. It was, no, no, it was uh, formerly the Bear Stearns. Now it's J.P. Morgan Chase. And when you look at the design of this, this was the clues. It was designed by David Childs of Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. 755 feet. 47 floors, tetragrammaton. So much, and it's, you know, it's built on a square with an octagon shaped tower. Octagon is the six sided polygonal shape, I mean, eight sided polygonal shape tied to the sun because 19 is the eighth prime number, which is an octagon. And then it terminates at a 70 foot crown. 70 is tied to the house. That always wins. 70. I'm going to be showing that in that decode. But this 383 Madison decided to break it down. Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill, the people that designed, or it was through this firm that designed the building. And there it was. I mean, it's, it's just comical. It's just funny. That the, the, what they go by is tied to the G.O.D., tied to Oz. Because Oz is 14. And look at what their revenue is for 2021. These, this is, these are the subtleties that you look at and you just laugh. Like, is this really what their revenue was? I didn't even check it out. I mean, what it was last year, I wonder. Do they even know this? I mean, there's the permutation of G-O-D right there. Permutation of their business name. Why would they do that in 2021 if they did this consciously? These are the questions I ask. So let's get into the last topic now, folks. This has been a long one. 
Thanks for sticking with me. So I'm going to get more into the 76 and finish it up with this 76. You got the gas stations in the United States, 76. Now you know why next time you drive by a 76, it's the Wizard of Oz. Playing tribute to the Wizard of Oz that runs this reality. However that looks. So here it is. The 76 appears at the 49th and 50th decimal digit. I already showed that a little bit earlier, but there it is. And when you add up all these digits, going all the way to the 76, 49 and 50, you're going to get 252 in the string of the golden ratio. So here's pure math again now, showing the Wizard of Oz. 252 is the total addition of all these digits, 1.618033, all the way to the 76. And we end there. There it is, 252. And there's the golden ratio. The 1,601st number in pure numbers now is the 252nd prime number. It's the 1.61. We originally found this from the golden ratio. See, this is pure math right here, folks. This is not theory. This is not my opinion. This right here is in your face pure math and tied to sacred geometry because you can get shapes out of this. It's the Wizard of Oz right there, folks. It's undeniable. So it's tied to the golden ratio. Look at these stinks right here. You can't miss it. I think I got a couple slides left here. So I decided to go and bring it into the string of pi. What does the string of pi got to say with it? We just found the golden ratio tied to the one six one. Remember Kansas, all the way back to the beginning was that one six one. But in the string of pi, it occupies digits five sixty nine and five seventy. <clears throat> five sixty nine is the one hundred and fourth prime number. The one hundred and fourth prime number. And the 104 is going to be embedded into this element right here, the 46th element called palladium, which is which means wisdom. From 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 the uh, the god of wisdom. And this is the card in the cards of illumination, the 46 card, the seven spades card, and it converts into the seven of swords, which is. In the tarot, using the Foolish card 22, the 57th card. Where's the 57? Right there. There's the 57 right there. So it directly embeds both the tarot and the cards of illumination, and alchemy, and math, and prime numbers found from the Wizard of Oz in the string of pi. What does this card mean? Well, it definitely is tied to recycling. If you remember watching my prison planets, 1937-46, there it is. The 46 is the representation of Earth. Please go watch my prison planets. 1920, 37, 38, 46, 47. This is Earth. Of course, seven days of the week. Saturn. Seven chakras. 52 weeks. Five plus two is seven. It's the recycle process. Of course, this logo... I broke this down. The original logo was made of green. Why was it made of green? It's tied to the Wizard of Oz. And even in the Francis Bacon, the capitalization of the G-O-D, there's the 104. This is undeniable right here to me with all these layers. And then to kind of finish this part of it off and ask you what you saw, I think that was my... Uh, to ask you what you saw. What does this card mean? The 57th card found from Osmium. Going all the way down, breaking it down from pure math and palladium and the recycling process. The game needs players. You know, take, take, a, take a break, put this on pause and read some of these right here on what this card means. The keywords. And you'll get your rendition of what this reality is all about.
because it's everything in all this and more. Folks, we don't have a say in this. We, you're down here until you die, and then we don't know what happens after that. But the Wizard of Oz runs this reality in a big way. He writes the script. I got, I got the House Always Wins coming out. That one will show with clear and convincing support that the House is what runs over all of us, and it is what always wins. So maybe when we leave here, that's a different story, but we may, we may just never leave. You may just get recycled back into the game. And that's what it looks like right there from the Wizard of Oz. So anyway, folks, what did you see <clears throat> during this presentation? I know that there were many things I could have added into this, the storyline of the movie, but obviously I wanted to pay a lot of attention to the Osmium and the Wizard of Oz. You can clearly see that these layers that I've brought in are absolutely, in my opinion, undeniable. It tells you what the Wizard of Oz is, tells you and shows you how it's tied into the script of our reality called life from, you know, from states to cities to zip codes to movies, to people that are producers, that are actors and actresses in movies, to the mystical art platforms, to cards, to just simple things as the recycling logo. People are being, you are being used. And when you let go and just observe your code and figure out what the hell you're doing here, life becomes up so much easier, I can tell you that from experience. So anyway, folks, so that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Reality. I thank each and every one of you for all your Patreons, your donations. Till next time, folks. We'll see you later.